Exercise number seven, grammar focus. Exercise seven, grammar focus. Modal verbs would and well for requests. Listen. Page eighty nine, exercise seven, grammar focus. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. Modal verbs. Modal verbs. Can, could, shall, should, well, would, may, might, ought to. After the modal verbs, we have main verb. We put main verb. Modal verb plus main verb. What would you like? Would you like? I'd like. I'd like. I would like. I want. I'd like the lamb kebabs. Lamb, be silent. I'd like. I'd like the lamb kebabs. I want the lamb kebab. I'd like. I'd love. I want. I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'd like. I want. I'll have vinaigrette. Vinaigrette from vinig vinegar. 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 I'll have vinaigrette. I'll have vinegar. Lemon juice. What would you like to? Would you like to? Plus main verb infinitive. I'd like. I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. Water, T soft D. Water, water, an R double R, double R. R water, water. I'd like. I want. No, thank you. That'll be all. That a T soft D. That that'll that'll B and A vowel. So we put yes sound. That'll be all. That'll be all. That'll be all. I'll, I will. I'd, I would. Contraction, shortage. Abbreviation. I'll, I will. I'd, I would. What does it mean? Would like. Would like. I would like. I'd like. I'd like. I want. I'll have. I'd like. I want. I'll have. I want. I wanna. I'd like. I want. I'll have. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I'd like to have a cup of tea. A cup of, of a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea. So would like means I want, I wanna, I'll have. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea. Would like. I'd like. I'd like. I want. I'll have. I'd like to have a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea. Unit thirteen. May I take your order? So. In the restaurant, there are different conversations. The conversation is between a customer, this is a customer, and a waiter, 
waiter customer so in the restaurant we have different conversation waiter customer waiter are you ready to order customer yes I think so what would you like to order what would you like to order T plus infinitive what would you like to eat I'd like the lamb kebabs this is lamb kebabs I'd like the lamb kebabs I want the lamb kebabs this is the main dish what kind of dressing would you like dressing dressing sauce dressing spices blue cheese vinaigrette in the USA blue cheese and vinaigrette what kind of dressing would you like customer I'd like blue cheese I'd like I want what would you like to drink I'd like a cup of tea would you like a dessert a dessert sweets chocolate ice cream yes I'd like ice cream please what flavor would you like flavor like vanilla ice cream chocolate ice cream I'd like chocolate please this is ice cream with which you flavor chocolate chocolate flavor ice cream waiter would you like anything else do you want anything else no thanks that'll be all that'll be all take care that t soft d that'll be all here we have the yeah sound that'll be all the yeah sound between the e and the vowel a so that'll be all no thanks that'll be all complete this conversation then practice with a partner waitress waiter a man waitress a woman a woman who works in a restaurant a young lady or girl or woman who works in a restaurant who serves customers waiter waitress waitress what you like to order what would you what would you like to order customer I'll I'll have the fried chicken you like rice or potatoes would you would you like rice or potatoes potatoes please potatoes please would with like would you like rice or potatoes potatoes please what kind of potatoes would you like what kind of potatoes would you like mashed picked or french fries french fries in hot oil picked baked inside the oven you put the potatoes in the oven mashed you smash smash the potatoes I like mashed potatoes I like I'd I'd like mashed potatoes okay and you like anything yeah, anything to drink and would you like and would you like anything to drink I guess I have a cup of coffee I'll I'll have a cup of coffee I'll I will I'll I will have a cup of coffee I'll have a cup of coffee a cup of a cup of coffee would you like would you like anything else no that be all for now thanks that that'll that'll be all for now thanks later after some time later waiters would you dessert dessert sweets 
This is a dessert, chocolate. Would you like dessert? Yes. I like ice cream. I'd like ice cream. Yes, I'd like ice cream. What flavor? What flavor would you like? Hmm. I have chocolate, please. Chocolate. I'll. I'll have chocolate, please. Okay. I'll bring it right away. So again, the answers of letter like, I'd, would, exercise number eight, role play in a coffee shop. Look at the picture. What do you see? Customers, food, drinks. So this is a restaurant or a cafeteria, a coffee shop. So this is a coffee shop or cafeteria. You're in a cafeteria, you're in a coffee shop, you're in a restaurant. A and B. You're a customer in a coffee shop. This is what you want to order for lunch. Coffee shop in Egypt here for drinks. But in the USA, you can drink a cup of coffee and you can have a meal or light meal, some snacks. This is what you want to order for lunch. Spaghetti, spaghetti, meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs, tomato, and cucumber salad, a nice tea with lemon, a slice of cheesecake. Student B, you are the waiter or waitress. Take your customer's order. Change rules and try the rule play again. Use your own ideas. You and your friend start to talk, make a conversation. A student, A, a customer, student B, a waiter or waitress. You make the conversation, you can write this order or you can write any kind of food like stuffed cabbage, lamb kebab, mulukhaya, kushari, salad, any kind of food, mixed green salad. The Egyptian people like to drink tea, a cup of tea for everyone. So, tea, coffee. To make this conversation, you can make it like this. Waiters and customers, the same one, but with different orders. Exercise 9, listening. Listening, let's order. In this exercise, what do you see? A waiter and the waiter has a very big order, a cup of coffee, burger, cheesecake, maybe, different kinds of food. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. So, this is the check, and you will write what does everyone order? Not both of them together, no. What does Rex order or what did Rex order? What did Hannah order? Let's start to listen. Page 90. Exercise 9. Listening. Let's order. Part A. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them french fries here. <laughs> right, 
I'll have some French fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh. What kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Listen again. Rex. What does Rex order? Rex is a man. Hannah is a woman. Hannah is a woman. Take care. Hannah is a woman and she's a British. She's a, she has a British accent. Rex. What did Rex order? Rex ordered a cup of coffee with cream and sugar and an apple pie. So Rex ordered a cup of coffee with cream and sugar and apple pie. Hannah, a chicken sandwich, chips, chips, British, American, French fries, chicken sandwich, chips or French fries, iced tea. Again the answers, for Rex, a cup of coffee with cream and sugar and an apple pie. Hannah, Hannah ordered a chicken sandwich, chips or french fries and iced tea. A question to you. What about the desserts? What kind of desserts do we have in the restaurant? In the restaurant there are ice cream, pie, chocolate mousse, and cakes ice cream pie chocolate mousse and a cake what kind of pie do we have an apple pie a cherry pie a lemon pie apple cherry and lemon Hannah was speaking British British accent She said, I'll take some of yours, yours, she didn't say yours, yours, British American, yours, I'll, a piece later, she said, later, later, American, later, later, British, later, B, Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the waiter forgot to bring. The waiter will forget to bring two dishes, two kinds. Listen. Page 90. Exercise 9. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the waiter forgot to bring. Oh, here comes our waiter. Yeah, I wondered what took so long. Phew, here you are. Uh, I ordered french fries with my chicken sandwich. And you brought me, yuck, mashed potatoes with gravy. Oh, you ordered french fries? Yes. Well, then, okay. Uh, and could I have the apple pie I ordered? What apple pie? Did you order apple pie? Uh-huh, yeah, I did, with my coffee, remember? Really? Gee, how did I forget that? Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes? How long have you been a waiter? Who, me? Oh, uh, today is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get your apple pie and the french fries right away. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Thanks.
circle the two items that the waiter forgot to bring. Items, T sub D. Waiter, waiter, T sub D and R, -R waiter. The waiter forgot to bring two items. The waiter forgot to bring the french fries and the apple pie. The french fries and the apple pie. Does the waiter have experience? No, he doesn't. The waiter doesn't have any experience. Is he a professional waiter? No, he's not. He's not a professional waiter. He's not a professional waiter because he doesn't have experience. This is his first day at work. This is his first time to work as waiter. Look at the picture, what do you see? A chef, he's in restaurant, he's making pizza, pie, I don't know, what to guess, maybe it's a pizza, a pie, pancake, Writing a restaurant review. Have you eaten out at a restaurant recently? How was it? Write a review of the restaurant for a local newspaper. Write a review. A review to say what's good and what's bad about something. Last week. Last week I had lunch at Luigi's. Luigi's, a new Italian restaurant in my neighborhood. I ordered a green salad and cheese pizza. The pizza was excellent, but but the salad wasn't very good. The lettuce, lettuce, a kind of vegetable for making salad, a vegetable for making salad. The lettuce wasn't very fresh. For dessert, I had chocolate cake and a cappuccino. The cake was rich and delicious and the blah blah blah. So, here, this is going to be homework. You write a, a paragraph about any restaurant and you make a review. You write a paragraph about any restaurant. You write what's good and what's bad. The food. The place. The view. Does the restaurant have a view? Some restaurants have views on the Nile or a view on the sea, on the Red Sea. Parking. Can you park your car? Is there a good parking in front of the restaurant or near the restaurant? The waiters. The waiters were friendly or the waiters were not friendly. The service. When you give them the order, did they, prep, did they prepare it fast or it, it, it took a long time? The atmosphere. Was the restaurant crowded? Noisy or quiet and calm? Did you listen to music or not? You can write a paragraph about any experience for any restaurant you have had lunch or dinner in it. Exercise 12 Reading. 12 reading. Look at the picture. 
what do you see? A man, and this man is giving money to a lot of people. Who is this man? Guess, a manager, workers, maybe. A manager, and he gives the workers and employees salaries. A manager, and he pays money for them, gives them the wages. A customer, and he gives all of those people tips. Like this one, chef, valet. Hairstylist, barber, hairstylist or barber, roommate, taxi driver, waiter, waiter. To tap or not to tap? Tap to pay taps. Do you like to pay to pay taps? Do you like to pay taps in restaurants? When you park your car and hear silence to the taxi driver or not. Let's start to read. To tap or not to tap. Scan the article. How much should you tip someone in the United States? Who carries your suitcase at a hotel? Suitcase bag. Travel bag. Suitcase a bag. A travel bag. Who parks your car? Who serves you in a fast food restaurant? Who serves you in a fast food restaurant? The word tap comes from an old English slang word that means to give. The word tap it comes from an old English spoken word, slang, spoken word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. I can use it a noun, a tap. I paid a tap. I gave him a tap. A verb to tap, I tipped, I paid money. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. The American people usually tap, tap, pay taps for people in different places. In restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. First question, where does the word tip come from? The word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. Is it a noun or a verb? It's both, it's both a noun and a verb. Where do American people usually tip? Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. A tip shows that the customer is pleased, is happy with the service. The people who work in these places often get paid low wages. They get low salaries, low amounts of money. If the customer pays tip, it means that the customer is pleased with the service, is very happy with the service. So, do those people, do those people who work in airports, restaurants, hotels, and hair salons get high salaries, 
high wages? No, they don't. They get paid low wages. What does a tip mean? What does a tip mean? A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service, that the customer is happy with the service. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the service. People such as parking valets or bill hops usually get smaller tips. So the people who are working as parking valets who park the cars, like this person, parking valets or bill hops, bill hops porters, like someone who carries the bag or the suitcase, usually get smaller tips. Very, very small tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters or waitresses is usually larger. But taxi drivers, waiters, and waitresses get high, get large tips. Here are a few guidelines for tapping in the United States. Guidelines and instructions. General rules. Here are general rules for tipping, for paying tips in the USA, in the United States. Who gets smaller tips? Parking valets and bill hops. Who get large tip? Taxi drivers, wearers, and waitresses. But who gets smaller tips? Parking valets and bill hops usually get smaller tips. Airport porters or hotel bill hops? One dollar or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. So if you're going to carry a suitcase, which means travel bag or bag, one suitcase, one dollar or two dollars. If I have five suitcases, you will pay ten dollars, from five to ten dollars. Parking valets, one dollar for parking a car. If you are going to park the car, you will pay one dollar for parking your car for the parking valets parking valets a parking valet a person who parks the car for you hotel door attendants one dollar or two dollars for getting a taxi for getting a taxi you pay one dollar or two dollars for the hotel door attendants hotel maids one dollar to five dollars per night Every night, you pay $5. So if I stayed in a hotel for seven days, for one week, I'm going to pay $7 or $35, from $7 to $35. Taxi drivers, 15% of the bill more if they help you with bags. For taxi drivers, you will pay 15% of the bill. For example, if my bill about $100, I'll pay $115. $100 as a bill and $15 as a tip. If the drivers carry the bags for me, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay him $125. extra money for helping me with the bags in a restaurant waiters and waitresses waiters and waitresses 15 to 20 percent 20 to 20 percent of the bell there is no tapping in fast food restaurants in fast food restaurants we don't pay taps fast food restaurants like McDonald's but you pay in a restaurant 
15% of the bill. If I have lunch and my, and my bill is $100, I'll pay $120. $20 as tips. Barbers or hairstylists. Barbers or hairstylists, 15% of the bill. When you're not sure about how much to tap, do what feels right. So, if you, if you don't know how much to pay tips, do what feels right. You don't have to tap for bad service. If I have bad service, I'm not going to pay tips. And you can give a bigger tab for very good service. If I have a very good service, I will pay bigger tab. Remember, remember though, your behavior is more important than your money. Your behavior. The way you deal people is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect. All the time, deal the service providers, the people who provide you with service, the people who give you the service with respect. Respect them. That's more important than your money. So respect them and pay for them the tax too. A. Read the article. Find the word in italic in the article, then check through the meaning of each word. So in this exercise, we have different words, and we write the answer. We write here the meaning of the word. You choose A or B, like wages. Wages, regular pay for a job, or tips received for a job. One minute, try to answer. Wages. Wages. Regular pay for a job. Number two. Pleased. Pleased. Happy or satisfied. Annoyed or bothered. Bothered. Very angry. Annoyed. Angry also. Pleased. Happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. Three. Three, depend on, be the same as, change according to, be the same as, or change according to, depend on, change according to. Four, behavior, a way of acting or a way of feeling. Behavior, a way of acting. Take care, the word acting here doesn't mean like actor to act, no, to act toward, to deal, to deal with the person. So you're a way of acting, a way of dealing. Treat, ignore or act toward, to treat, to act toward, act toward. Respect, courtesy or rudeness. Respect, courtesy or rudeness. Courtesy, excellence of manners. Good behavior. Rudeness to to be implied, to be implied, to be rude, rude, implied, to be tough, to be rough, not to be gentle. Courtesy, so respect, courtesy, courtesy. Exercise number B, check through the statements that describe a proper tipping behavior for the other items was acceptable. 1. Your haircut costs $30. You love it. You tip the hairstylist $2. Right or wrong? 
This is wrong. Why? Hair stylist. You go up here. Search for hair stylist. Barber or hair stylist. Fifteen percent of the bill. So, thirty dollars. That means four point half. Four and a half dollar. I should pay to the hair stylist or the barber four and a half dollars. So number one wrong. Number two, a porter at the airport helps you with, this, with three suitcases. You tip him six dollars. You give him six dollars a step. Correct or wrong? This is correct. Why? Because you have three suitcases, you have three bags, you pay for every bag two dollars, so three suitcases six dollars. Three, your fast food meal costs eight dollars. You don't leave a tap. Fast food, like McDonald's, fast food restaurant. Three, correct. True. Because in fast food restaurants, we don't pay tips. Four. You stay in a hotel for a week. You leave a five dollar tip for the hotel maid. True or false? False. You stay seven days. You should pay thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. Or at least seven dollars from seven dollars to thirty five dollars. Five, your taxi ride costs fourteen dollars. The driver carries your bag. You tip him three dollars. You give him only three dollars. This is correct. Group work is tipping customary in your country. Do you like the idea of tipping? Why or why not? Is paying tips a custom in Egypt? Is paying tips a habit or custom in the Arab world? Is paying tips a habit, a custom, regular dancing or not? Do you like the idea of paying tips? Why? If you don't like, why not? This is your question and you have to answer it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Six, vinegar, vinegar, lemon juice, vinegar. Seven, mashed, smashed. Eight, meatballs, meatballs. Cucumber, cucumber, a kind of vegetables used for making salad. A kind of vegetables, vegetables, which vegetables, no, e silent. E here silent vegetables a kind of vegetables used for making salad 11 local inside the country lettuce lettuce tea soft tea lettuce Litta, lettuce a kind of vegetables for making salad lettuce Cappuccino, a cappuccino, coffee made with heated milk and powdered chocolate, a cup of coffee made with heated milk and powdered chocolate. Twelve, parking valets, restaurants or, em or hotel employees who park your car, restaurants or hotel employees who park your car. Courtesy, excellence of manners, respect. Courtesy, respect. 
slang slang informal spoken language informal spoken language size amount size amount hotel maid hotel servant hotel maid hotel servant bell hops bell hops hotel employees who carry your bags porters bell hops porters guidelines general rules instructions guidelines general rules instructions porters people who carry your bags service providers service providers people in the service industry people american british people people in the service industry people british american people unit 13 workbook 7 boiled eggs courtesy the excellence of manners respect welcome Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.